Have you ever seen a three inch CD? Hey friends, welcome back. So this is a three inch or eight centimeter CD. They were around from the late 80s to the early 2000s. Now, honestly, even though I grew up in the 90s, I had no idea these things even existed until one of you awesome viewers reached out to me on Facebook and asked if I could make a video about them. So after doing some online research and getting my hands on this one, I figured I would make that video to share with you guys what I've learned. So these three inch CDs, also known as mini CDs, CD singles, eight centimeter CDs, 80 millimeter CDs, pocket CDs, and CD3s were around from 1987 to about 2003. Now, although a regular size CD is 4.75 inches in diameter and can hold up to 80 minutes of music, a mini CD is 3.15 inches in diameter and can only hold up to 24 minutes of music. So clearly these guys are much smaller. Now, just for fun, here's a mini CD compared to a laser disc. As you can see, the laser disc is massive and the three inch CD looks absolutely tiny in comparison. Now, although this three inch CD format was released in the US, the UK, France, Germany, China, and Japan, it never really caught on here in the West, which would explain why I never saw one of these things growing up. The format that I did see the most, however, was the normal full-sized compact disc. Now the reason for that is because according to the Wikipedia article on mini CD singles, quote, in the US and the UK, the format barely lasted into the early 1990s, being replaced by simply putting less music on a regular full-size CD. The full-size discs were a more standard manufacturing process and so were cheaper to press. But the CD single continued until the 2000s for the Japanese releases. So basically, this format lasted a whole decade longer in Japan and that is the reason why most of the mini CDs you're gonna see online today, like this one that I bought on eBay, are Japanese releases in a unique and tall CD booklet design. So basically the Western releases looked like this and the Japanese designs looked like this. Now, speaking of Japan, if you wanna learn even more about what makes vintage Japanese CDs and CD singles so unique and cool, there's a great article you can check out called The Complete Guide to Japanese CD Collecting by the blogger CCLemon99. I came across that site when I was doing research for this video. So if you wanna read it, I'll put the link in the video description down below. Now, another important thing to know about these mini CDs is that although they are much smaller than a regular CD, the format is the exact same. It is still a CD. Now, that being said, if you do wanna play these in a normal CD player, then you are gonna need to keep a few things in mind. First of all, if you have a tray loading CD player like this one, then it might already have a small circular indentation in the middle four three inch CDs, and that might work out just fine for you. However, if you really wanna be on the safe side, then I would recommend getting a three inch to full size CD adapter, and this is what they look like. So when playing your mini CD, having this kind of adapter would give you peace of mind in making sure that neither the CD or the CD player gets damaged. You definitely don't want this thing to come loose inside the player, because that would cause all sorts of problems and that definitely would not be good. Now, if you're wondering where you can get one of these adapters, you might still be able to find a few of them on eBay like this one. And as a bonus, a lot of them even include a mini CD with your purchase. So if you don't have any mini CDs in your collection and you also have a tray loading CD player, then getting something like this would be a good idea. Now, if you already have some mini CDs in your collection and you wanna play them without an adapter, then what you should get is a top loading CD player. Usually these types of CD players will have a spindle in the middle which can firmly hold this smaller CD and keep it secured in one place. 
so this is a much safer option. Now, if we take a look at the mini CD that I have, it's from 1994, and it's Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. I guess this video would have been more relevant last month, but, um, oh well. Now, as you can see, based on the Japanese writing on the packaging, this is, in fact, a Japanese release. So it's only got two tracks. All I Want for Christmas is You. Obviously, that's the biggest track. And Miss You Most at Christmas Time. So that's pretty cool. And if we flip it over to the back and look at the bottom, it also lists the complete track list of the album that you would normally get with the full-size CD. Now, in addition to Mariah's Christmas album, here are a few other artists that release their music on this format. Michael Jackson, Madonna, Tiffany, Depeche Mode, and my personal favorite, Rick Astley, with his classic tune, Never Gonna Give You Up, on a three-inch CD single. How cool is that? I would love to own this thing. Now, for my viewers in the UK, if you want to pick up some blank mini CDs and burn your own music, there's a cool website called Retro Style Media where you can actually buy them. They're listed as 8cm, or 8 centimeter circular CDs, and you can get as many of them as you want. Now, the site also sells cassettes, CDs, DVDs, portable cassette players, reel-to-reel -reel audio tape, mini discs, business card CDs if you want to advertise your business, L cassette tapes, DCC tapes, DAT or DAT tapes, VHS tapes, floppy disks, and lots of other cool audio related stuff. So if you want to check them out, I'll drop their link in the video description down below as well. Now if on the other hand you're based here in the US, then you can always try eBay or Amazon and you might be able to find a few blank mini CDs there as well. Now, after all of this, you may be wondering, what exactly is the point of a three inch CD if you can just put the exact same amount of songs or more on a regular sized CD? Well, that's exactly the reason why this format died. As I mentioned, full sized CDs replaced CD singles in the US and the UK in the 90s and in Japan a decade later. So although there's been a resurgence of vinyl as of late, which is awesome, I don't really see this format in particular ever making a comeback. But then again, you never know. Now before we go, today's song of the day is Clocks by Coldplay. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Now, what do you guys think about these mini CDs? Do you like them? Do you have any in your collection? Or did you not know about them and this is all news to you like it was to me? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love all physical media and music in general, then feel free to hit that red subscribe button down there and turn it gray and also smack the bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have a fantastic day, stay safe out there and keep spinning that vinyl.